Hey guys, I'm going to walk you through everything I do to raise my monarch caterpillars um, until they turn into butterflies, and in which case I release them so they can live their butterfly life. Um, the first, the very first step is this little white egg right here. You see the white egg? I have one there, one there and one right there and I actually collected these um, as I pull off as I cut milkweed and bring it in for my caterpillars I always inspect the leaves before I give it to them um, to make sure that there's no uh, butterfly eggs um, on the leaves so because I think that the caterpillars might accidentally eat them if um, if they're left on there so so that's the first step and um, I got some footage the other day of um, a monarch butterfly laying eggs on our milkweed out in our front garden. So I'm going to show that to you now. Here she goes. Let's see if we can get her. Let's see, she just laid an egg. Let's see if we can get a close-up of it, but I don't want to disturb her. There we go. Look at her. There she is. Is she successful? Let's see. Oh, she's back. Let's see if she was able to lay an egg here. Got her egg out. You can see it on the tip. There she goes. She's putting it. You see? She's putting it on the leaf. So precise. Look at that. She's trying so hard to lay her egg. Did she do it? Did she get it? Not yet. Let's see. Ah, oh, there we go. I'm gonna keep my distance so I can allow her to do what she needs. You got a good close up of her abdomen with the the egg is almost out, I think. Go. Oops, he's, she's on the wrong plant. She's getting some sips of, sips of nectar here. Oh, there she goes. look over here and see if we can spot any leaves that she, eggs that she laid I'm gonna look around and see if I can find her eggs and I'll get back with you 
Hey you guys, um, so I wasn't able to find any eggs on any of the leaves. I looked all over the place, however, I did find lots of teeny tiny caterpillars. Look at those guys, there's that. And then look up in this flower right here. There's some newly hatched ones. So these must have had an egg get laid here while the butterfly was pollinating the flowers. Let's see if I can get in there and get a good look. You see them in there? There's a whole bunch of clusters of them in there. Teeny tiny. And then I found a whole bunch over on this one in the flowers as well. You saw how hard she had to work just trying to sit still in this wind. But look at all those caterpillars in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna snip the ends off of this. Oh, look, she's back, guys. So amazing how they know which plant to go to. amazing to me that they can tell where the milkweed is. See how hard she's having to flutter in her wings because of the wind? It's probably really difficult for her to lay her eggs right now. But let's see if we can watch her lay an egg now that I have my better camera. Maybe if you get low on this low one, you'll be able to succeed. anyways she'll come back I'm sure and while she while we're waiting for her to come back I'm gonna trim back this flower and see if maybe we can get it growing in some dirt so we can get these caterpillars into some safety because we have a wasp's nest over there that are picking up every single one I find. So I'm going to intervene a little bit so that we can have some butterflies to release because my kids just love it so much and I do too. All right, I'm going to trim all of the little baby caterpillars, not trim the caterpillars, but trim the ends of the plants off with the baby caterpillars and put them in some soil and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, y'all, back at you, and we got uh, we got my wife's favorite things here. What are they? Monarch caterpillars. All right, let's take a look at them. All right, so here's my little patch job from the rat that chewed its way in and what? ate my last batch of caterpillars. Oh, no, look at this, guys! A rat got in there. We got so many critters on our property. It's not even funny, but all right, let's take a whoa look at them. Whoa, they're gonna be still. Oh, that a couple of these are ready to. Yeah, that guy's gonna be in a cocoon tonight. Yeah, look at him. Holy cow. And then this guy's about ready. Oh my gosh. They're these going so through the cool. milkweed so fast at this point. So, look, a lot of you guys talk about which is the best way to propagate. I've seen many to different. To propagate what? To propagate your milkweed. Gotcha. While you're feeding your caterpillars. I've seen lots of different ways. I've seen people who put it directly in the dirt. Um, I, uh, one girl, lady did an awesome experiment with her kids and they, they buried the bottom leaves. Are you talking um, about the, the stem of the... The stem of the milkweed. The milkweed, Putting gotcha. it right okay. in the dirt. She yeah. found that it was better to put it in dirt than the water method. Mm -hmm. um, I always put it in water for like a week or so until the roots came out and planted it then. 
and you can cut it up and put it in water. Like one of these long pieces could turn into five plants if you wanted it to. Just go snip, 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 and stick it in water and get roots that way. However, you can see, yeah, these guys, you can see they're so big, we need like fresh leaves for them right now. So, however, the concern is um, when I was putting them in fresh in the dirt, using the dirt method it was wilting the leaves like almost instantly and I and even with the dirt being watered and everything I, I just didn't feel like the leaves were staying fresh enough for the caterpillars so we actually came up with this like sludge method um, I've seen some some of you guys have like filled this up with water and you put saran wrap on the top yeah, so, so that, that when the caterpillars fall they won't drown right right um, and that's kind of, um, I didn't really want to use saran wrap um, and plastic. Um, so we came up with this method where um, if they fall in here, it's like a quicksand, I guess, and they won't die. They'll be able to climb back up still instead of it just being a pool of water where they would drown. So this seems to be working really well. It keeps the milkweed really fresh and it also kind of keeps them, um, keeps the pieces kind of stable because it's like it's like sandy so um and just so everybody can see these pieces here that are kind of older we didn't start those in our sludge method it was, yes it was these that we started in the sludge method yeah all the ones that they're eating now have been in the sludge method oh, i think my but wife has a couple too many caterpillars in here i don't know i think we need some more of these because we do yeah. need to be careful not to have too many because that's how the caterpillars can get the oe disease all right, but cool. I think so looks like some of these are almost ready to start making a cocoon, right? Yeah. So I think when we come back um, with our next update on these, we might have some. I'm going to guess yeah. tomorrow we're going to have two cocoons. And I mean, look at this, guys. I don't know if I don't know if you guys realize how much caterpillars poop, but it is a lot. Oh, there's a little one. There's that little one. I think he might be. Where? He's real confused. He is right confused. In there. He needs to, oh no, that's a oh, fresh that's, one. That's a new one. Yeah, that must have been on one of the milkweeds that we brought in. Oh boy, oh boy. We, we got, got another one. one. He's so little. Here you go, little guy. All right, y'all. Well, we're going to leave it here for now. And uh, I think on our next update, we're going to have some transformation here. Don't you think, babe? Yeah. And I'm going to work on getting some more of this sludge going so that we can have... Uh, multiple cups and kind of separate these guys out a little bit because i think they're a little crowded all right y'all well we will uh we'll get back with you there you go little when guy. we see some change uh yeah we'll get back with you probably in what another day or so eh yep all right all right all right y'all back at you what we got more caterpillars all right all right so we've got a lot going on in here yeah, we got to be real careful opening this because yeah, we got... Yeah, see, this guy is right here. Yeah, you... So this guy just finished eating and he's working his way up to the top with the rest of his little buddies that are pupating. I'll try and get the camera in there. Once she gets this open, we can get a better look. So we're kind of reaching the end of our little experiment here. Oh, no, I guess you found a, an egg on some of these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll start over with the eggs. There are more. Nice. So, here are, well, I think we only have two left. The rest are either in their cocoons or are. So let's see if I can show them the cocoons up here. There's one right there. There's two of them, right? Oh yeah, there's another one like right there. I have three cocoons and three. Oh, you have three? Yeah, there's yeah, one. Yeah, there's one back here. One back here, too. Look at that. <clears throat> They're so cool looking. And how long are these going to be hanging out in here? Uh, one to two weeks. Okay. So, this guy won't stop dancing. I guess he just likes my voice. But I can get them to dance, to, to both dance. You want to see? Let's see, yeah. See? You guys, you just add that to the <laughs> the the long list of uh, of talents. And, no, I'm just joking. Uh, 
For some reason, they react to any noise. Um, the lawnmower, us talking, no, that's the not kids true. have been having that, fun. That's not true. She's a caterpillar whisperer. I am. So, um, so yep. So these guys will be finishing up, and um, and these guys up here that are kind of hanging out at the top, they're yeah, getting can, their little ball yeah, of you, um, I don't know silk. If we can pick this up right on the there. camera, but you can see where they've attached themselves. Yep, already. they're making their little anchors right now. I don't think that one has yet. I think this one has. No, right this here. guy's new. This is the furthest along of all of them. Yeah, okay, cool. And we're gonna try to get some footage of them turning into the cocoon um, if we can figure it out, have enough battery life on our cameras. So. All right, y'all. Well, here we go. We're gonna let this one go. We're gonna open this up. It looks pretty active. I think. Uh, yeah, I think he's done fly. driving. Yeah, and it Dry. looks like we're, we'll have another chrysalis to add to our collection. Once we let. Oh, there it goes. Oh, oh it's still drying a little bit. Here we go. Hi. There it is, and this is what's neat about this is you get oh wow, there it goes. Oh, it's gone. Well, I'm a successful flight. All right, cool. I hope you guys uh, liked our our little experiment here. We actually have um, a tag tagging kit coming in the mail too, right? Yep. So we're gonna um, tell them about that. So um, so the tags are um, they still aren't quite sure um, the migration patterns of the monarch butterflies um, and they only are doing this program um, east of the um, Rocky Mountains I believe so it, they're not interested in doing this test over on the other side um, so when they're drying um, I'm gonna tag mine I think that they even say you can catch the ones and tag them, but I'm only gonna tag mine while they're drawing because I think it's gonna be the least stress to the butterfly. Um, and then if somebody finds it in another state and then documents it- Or another on, country even, right? Or another country and documents it on the website, we can see where our butterflies are going. Um, and then um, because they're actually thinking that monarch butterflies their flight pattern has to do with the angle of the sun to the earth um, which varies every year so um, so they're trying to figure out what these flight patterns are um, so I guess when you tag them that you will enter those numbers into some database we enter it in the database and then hopefully somebody will see the tag on the butterfly look it up and then put it in where they see it to continue this the scientific data process, um, but apparently last year millions have were tagged because they showed pictures of them, you know, in in Mexico where they hang up in the trees um, all together at the very end, um, <clears throat> and they they ha they showed tagged ones there. So they made it all the way from Canada to Mexico with the tags still intact. So I thought that was super interesting. But um, but anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Um, you know the process that we do um we had another we made another video we've already released one of these guys um but maybe when when we get some of these to uh emerge from their chrysalises here we can maybe do another video even right yeah i'm hoping to get the tags in soon and as soon as we do then yeah we'll I'll, do we'll, we'll show a whole process yeah yeah how we'll, i do that because you have definitely. to like clip it and there's a yeah, certain yeah. process of doing it um, and I haven't done it yet, so I'm going to have to figure that out. But I'm super excited. All right, cool. All right, y'all. Well, uh, I hope you liked our video here. Uh, I finally learned how to put a subscribe button in this corner. Or maybe it's maybe it's this one over here. I don't know. But it, if you did like our video, we'd appreciate it if you'd uh, consider subscribing to our channel. Until next time, everybody take care.